Yo, what up? This is Magic, and welcome to Who is Magic? Uh, walk the six paths of pain, do my best to maintain. My eyes go sage, I'm a savage. My name is Magic, I'm 24, I'm from Fort Myers, Florida, by way of Lehigh, Lil LA in the building. I teach you how to. So, I am a songwriter, rapper, poet, dancer, um, learning to sing, uh, learning to be a, a vocal arrangement specialist, if you will, learning to engineer and make beats, um, learning to paint, I sketch, draw. Pretty much try to do anything, I'm trying to be a real renaissance man and master it all. One day I'll be playing an instrument, one day I'll be sculpting, you never know. Uh, I'll do a little bit of photography, everything, man. I'm a dick, how it tastes. I need, I need Fetty Fetty with some Becky Becky. Back on my grizzly. Bitch, I came from the grime. Got chrome in the studio. Just watch. Um, cause nobody in my family followed their dreams. So, I feel a lot of, uh, I don't know, self pressure to be um, a representative that your dreams can come through. Um, yeah, I grew up in somewhat of a negative environment, and um, I just always seen shit go left. So I, I seen enough mistakes and I seen enough shit go wrong to just be inspired to see like what could go right. You know, I feel like you, we only have so much time on this earth, man. You gotta utilize that shit the best way that you can. You gotta really just chase something, man. Wake up every day and make your life have some value. Chase something by either trying to improve your life and improve yourself, or make somebody else's life better. So. That's what I aspire to do. That's what keeps me motivated. Fuck yeah. Um, <laughs> the struggle is what makes you though. You have to like embrace that shit, man. Um, I used to like fucking be so upset because I used to feel like I was struggling too much or like the world was against me and shit like that. But really like the struggle is literally like it defines you. Like it, it makes you a better person. It makes you wiser. It makes you stronger. And that shit sounds cliche. But it's like something that, it's one of those things that you hear people say and it's in one ear and out the other, but when you actually experience it for yourself, like, it'll change your life. Like, um, you know, I've been broke. I slept in cars. I've been homeless before. I went through all that shit. And I used to see celebrities and like really powerful people or like famous people say shit like that. And I was like, nah, like everybody uses that. But no, it's true, bro. That shit like makes you a better person. If you go without a home for so long, you learn how to appreciate having one. Uh, my end goal, like I said, is to just like impact people. Um, I hope to, uh, when I was a kid I wanted to be a superhero. I wanted to have like powers and shit. I wanted to be able to like change the world and like save everybody and shit. And I think that was like the hardest lesson was learning that you can't save everybody. But I did learn that like impact and influence is power. That's a form of power. And if you use that for the right things, like you're constantly empowering other people, you're constantly just shifting. And um, I always wanted to make it easier on the next kid, I always wanted to make it easier on the next dreamer, I always wanted to make it easier on the next hustler, the next entrepreneur, and just give them a lane to like run with and give them as much knowledge as possible. So the end all be all goal, man, is to just make an impact, man, change the world. Like it starts with you. You change people's lives and then they change other people's lives and the next thing you know you, you spread your impact you started a legacy so that's the angle bro He's now ready. um then man, man. <laughs> there's so many jewels that i could drop um the most important thing is um find something that drives you uh really really find something that drives you and what i mean by that is like find a reason to get up in the morning even on the days that you don't want to get up uh, that's one of the most important things it's called a why but make sure that your why is not centered around you as a person it's bigger than you so that it'll constantly propel you um and just don't give up like that's the most important thing because as long as you don't give up and you stay on that path you'll learn all the lessons and encounter all the things you need to to be what you want to be just dropped winter part two. Um, be on the lookout. We got some videos coming up. Some surprises coming up. Coming up. Um, merchandise just dropped. Keep in contact. You can follow me at official magic music. Magic with a K. 
um, on Instagram, and from there you'll be able to follow all my other social media, like my Twitter and so on and so forth. Um, shout out to uh, Just B, aka Bianca J. Russell, DJ Art. Shout out to uh, my boy Split Image here. Shout out to uh, Poets Realm. Shout out to Mystic Martian, Expand Network, Marcelo Waves, Goat United, True Caladag, um, Della Rose, Chrome, Hero. Oh yeah, Banks has a project he just dropped. SB Chrome just dropped a couple singles. So shout out to my family. Um, yeah man, just be on the lookout. Uh, Hippie Circle, THC, uh, B Cutie for her photos. Maldo, everybody, man, authentic perspective. Anybody grind and sling one way, all you guys, the Cape Coral representative, and anybody else in the local scene just doing their thing, man. Shout out to everybody. Big love to everybody. Thank you. Keep running up them streams. We're going to keep doing our thing, you feel me? We're going to keep going thing, you feel me? Got to go crazy, you feel me? Big sticks on this show, you know what I'm talking about? Get, 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 get. So now, I'm going to answer some questions from you guys out there, things that you wanted to know about me, so let's get into it. First question, Ooh. what made me write Winter Part 2? Um, I actually wrote Part 1 and Part 2 at the same time. Um, it's low-key, a story. Um, before I got into writing music, I like to write stories. So if you haven't realized it by now, Laneige is a character and uh, Winter Part 2 and Winter Part 1 are kind of like his story. Um, if you listen to them consecutively, you kind of get an idea of what kind of person he is. Um, Laneige is French for snow, so you can assume that this is the uh, alias and the uh, more aggressive side of magic. Who is I? I am he. So, yeah, snow is just a portion of who I am. So Winter Part 2 is inspired by that. What pushed me out of my boundary slash comfort zone? to be a better b-boy huh i'm still not a great break dancer still working on it um you can always grow and get better what pushed me out of my comfort zone i started off as a crumper uh big shout out to my boy kevin he's somewhere in tampa doing his thing probably doing like 20 rounds on a head spin at this moment as we speak but i used to battle him all the time we would do crump versus breaking and then one day i just started breaking because i got tired of getting smoked and um, then it became like an equal thing, he started teaching me shit. And then I started really tapping into the scene in Central Florida, St. Pete, Orlando, Tampa. And you get tired of getting smoked because in breaking there's people who are power heads, style heads, and blow up artists. And so just learn, man, you get tired of getting embarrassed. So yeah, I had to keep getting embarrassed to get better though. Who influences my style? <sighs> Damn. Um, me? Gotti! <laughs> Gotti! No, I'm kidding. Uh, I just like people, um, artists who are like free and in themselves. So any individual who's just like not afraid to wear whatever the fuck they want, whenever the fuck they want. I get, I get influenced by um, seeing the how fashion updates itself in Tokyo all the way to Italy um, but probably the biggest influence the first person that made me like wow and like really want to catch up was Andre 3000 for sure
been quiet. Humble as can be. I know niggas throwing up that beat. You don't get busy, boy. You just be where the flowers be. See, I hang with a queen. Call her just be. Painting, painting, painting words. I mean, I use my words to make illustrations. See, I used to bang on that. Came with that flame like I was the first caveman. Do this shit like, whoa, I'm a humanoid, but sometimes I get frustrated and really annoyed. I gotta bug out, I gotta let them know I make noise. See, I was sitting in my room real patient, contemplating, waiting, taking medications to keep my sanity basic. I mean, I was balanced out, really I was waiting. They was waiting for the drought to be over. Took me four years to drop some shit and now I'm dropping. Gotta keep it running. The marathon continues. Shout out to Nipsey. Lost them too young. Shout out to my niggas. Lost them too young. Some niggas in the grave. I don't even count time. I'm late all the time. Late. I said some niggas in the grave. I don't even count time. I'm late all the time. Late because I couldn't afford to wait. Time is a concept constructed of man, so I don't respect that shit. Honestly, damn, I just be moving different. Gotta keep it going, gotta keep it going, gotta keep consistent. They was waiting, real patient. Then I made it happen. That's persistence. You think you the best? Huh. I show resistance, reluctance. See, I'm above this. I just lift and raise my frequencies. I am what you see, I am what you could be. Nothing better, nothing special. Still kicking, kick, kick, kicking flows like I'm stuttering cheddar. Stack, stack, stacking the flows like I'm stuttering cheddar. Better, better, better than anything. Even on my worst days, I'm still better. That means through bad weather, through struggles, through financial troubles, I'm still here like, damn, I'm sorry to bust your bubble. Maybe you should get used to me. Maybe you should make room. Maybe I should do this shit and wave you like monsoon. See, I'm the son of Poseidon. Call myself Laneige. That's snow. Know what it does. Know where it go. I don't even got to take it there, but we know where it could go. See, I'm front of 239, but I try not to let that flow. I try not to let that show my niggerish ways, my niggerish hair. I got to keep it persistent. I got to keep it consistent. I got to keep it like this. Honestly, I got to rep my shit because it's a lot of niggas that died for me to be here. And that's just some real shit. I'm talking about that real shit. For real, dude. <laughs> Fuck it. For real shit. Yo, thanks for watching the show. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like and that subscribe button for my boy Daniel Ortiz. Stay tuned for more. Seriously, 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 go listen to the project. Boom! And this guy has way more cool activity coming soon. You know what I'm saying? Stay tuned for all the next upcoming local artists, um, all the new hottest information. My boy Daniel Ortiz is going to keep you updated on that. Thanks, you guys, for rocking with me. Hope that you guys really enjoyed it. Peace out. From the spot, we can't talk to Popo lurking, nigga, like.